All right, Sunday morning we have no power because Mr. Squirrel decided to go get fried. <laughs> he, <got> fried. <laughs> he did get fried. Yeah. So what happened was, was that the squirrel went up to the electrical wires and that popped out the transformer. Squirrel got fried, didn't feel any pain. Maybe just felt that first jolt, but I'm sure he went really, really quick. But that's just to show you, are we ready for if something were to happen? We need to prepare if something would happen in an instant and we have to make adjustments. If we don't have power, I freeze a lot of our foods as a method of preservation. And so that's just a good reminder of being prepared for anything or everything you can't over prepare so get ready y'all in whatever capacity you can or wherever you see it fit do something and be proactive to you know put something in place that whenever things happen or whenever things go south for you you're able to preserve whatever you have and you have a backup plan luckily for us this has been resolved within a few minutes but we did run our generator here as you can see and even though we don't have a power outage, we give it a trial run sometimes to make sure that it can take the load, to make sure that the things we want hooked up to the power are essential. And for the people who may have the responsibility of taking care of elderly parents or family members, or even just any person of any age with health issues that may require a power source, because at the end of the day, this might become a situation of life and death. So guys, assess your situation and act accordingly. Don't sit on it, but instead try to come up with a plan B on how you're going to execute in a case of a real emergency. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next upload.